I am Dr. Sharma, Resident Dentist at Apollo Dental, Kondapur. In this video, I am going to discuss about the cavity progressions and the treatments regarding that. Before going into the topic, I would like to say an oral cavity is an index to overall health. So every individual should maintain good oral hygiene. Coming to the topic, cavity progressions. To understand this, one must know that your tooth consists of three layers, the outermost layer called enamel, the middle layer or the second layer called dentin, and the innermost layer called pulp. Enamel and dentin are hard structures. When it comes to pulp, it's a soft tissue with a nerve present in it. In the initial stages of cavity development, an individual can observe small black spots or small holes on the teeth. When he visits a dentist at this stage, the dentist will remove the infected part and restores that with a cement. If at this stage, if the individual neglects, the infection progress into the middle layer called dentin. And at this stage, an individual can observe or appreciate a cavity along with food lodgement and bad breath. At this stage, the dentist will remove the infected part but restores with a base first so that a protective layer forms in the dentin and then over that this restorative cement is given. If an individual neglects at this stage, the caries progresses into the third and the innermost layer called pulp. As there is a nerve present in the pulp, the individual starts feeling pain, sensitivity, sometimes formation of pus around the teeth and along with swelling. So at this stage, a dentist removes the infected part, reaches the innermost layer, reaches the root canals, cleans the root canals and devitalizes the teeth and fills that with an inert material, restores with a cement and a protective cap is given over the crown. This treatment is called root canal treatment. If the dentist is suggesting you a root canal treatment, that means your tooth is still can be saved. If the individual neglects at this stage, the infection enters the root. Once the infection enters the root, the dentist is left with a, only one single viable option that is extraction of the teeth. When the teeth is extracted, the individual has three options to replace his teeth. One is called RPD, which is a removable partial denture where you can remove and keep your teeth by yourself. And the second option is a crown and bridge. A crown and bridge is a joint unit given in support with the adjacent tooth. The third option is an implant where a titanium screw is inserted into your bone which bonds with your bone and then a crown is given in support with that implant. So what I would like to say is visit your dentist for every six months Find out about the cavities and your oral hygiene and get them treated in the initial stages. Thank you.